today, mention somebody like Ibu Kobi on social media, you are in for trouble. They have become too powerful. We don't question them again. Go and read about a terrible incident that happened in the year 1978 in America. November 18, 1978. We have succeeded today, many of us Christians, we have succeeded in projecting our brothers in the ministry to the status of God and deity. That they have become powerful figures that are no longer answerable to anybody. They have become too powerful that we no longer question or entertain anybody questioning them. There was a time our brother from Enugu State, the Holy Ghost Adoration of Umbaka, there was a time he had a fallout with his bishop. Christians, people like us, carried placard and went to bishop's house to protest. There were video evidences where people were actually breaking glasses and destroying properties in the bishop's house because a bishop called his priest who pledged obedience to him during his ordination. I promise obedience to you and your successor. And then when bishop brought a little control, people felt like nobody should question him. He is beyond condemnation. He is not blameable. Says who? We need to be careful because we are creating a disaster that will consume all of us. By the way, we are raising these people. Today, mention somebody like Ibu Kobi on social media. You are in for trouble. They have become too powerful. We don't question them again. Go and read about a terrible incident that happened in the year 1978 in America. November 18, 1978. What happened? An American pastor called Jim Jones had a church named People's Temple Cult. People's Temple Cult. This man, when he felt that media scrutiny of his faith and religion is becoming too much, he gathered his members and took them to an agricultural settlement called Guyana. And there, under the cover, without the media gaze and everything, this man started manipulating his followers to the extent that he commanded them whether under hypnosis, whether under spell, nobody knew. But he commanded them to come. And 900 and something people, children who were under 17 years, it was regarded as the greatest civilian casualty in American history. A threat that was not caused by war. It was caused by non-natural phenomenon. A man of God grew so powerful that his ministers, his followers no longer questioned him. And he has that power to command them. Yes. <laughs> I want to read out something for you. Something I picked from Facebook. One of our, one of our brothers, um, who is very active on Facebook, um, Father Kevin um, Ugu, said something recently, and people came for his head. He posted something about a popular man of God. Pay attention, I'm going to read you something very surprising. He posted something and somebody came to his Facebook and said, Our celebrity social media chasing cloud father. Good morning, Lou. I have been following and seeing all your handwork on social media. And I say, make I just greet you. You are the most stupid man. And I see that you are a very jobless and stubborn priest. But don't worry. I assure you that you will surely learn the hard way. That is my promise to you for not minding your businesses and allow God to judge that man. Instead, you and other Catholic priests and the archbishop have turned yourselves to judges on earth. My biggest question to you is that who do you think you are to rubbish a man that God has ordained right from where he was in the, child, in the mother's womb? Everybody is aware that the reason why Catholic priests and archbishop started prognosing into Ebuka's affair is because of his money and properties you want to acquire, which you will never have. You guys should just take a chill pill and rest. 
cause you're not going to feel, you go fight tire. Propaganda is all you guys can do. But you cannot take away the grace and the anointing which God has given to him. If you guys try, you all will surely be disgraced. Stay on your lane. Stay on your lane and mind your business. I will not warn you again. Leave a book be matter for God and stop this social media bullying lifestyle you are doing here. You have turned yourself from a priest to a blogger. Shame on you and your likes. I dey shameful now. Shame to Catholic Church, Christians fighting Christians. Shame to the archbishops and cohorts. Because of this reason, I am leaving the Catholic Church soon and go to either a Pentecostal or even Anglican Church where I am going to have the rest of mine. Shame to you, especially Reverend Father, my foot. Useless man. You really need a psycho, a psycho home for a brain reset. Bastard like you. It's possible now when somebody not here. Because that mentioned Ebukobi here, it's already a problem. Is there somebody here now? Because I mentioned Ebukobi, I'm already an antichrist. Because I mentioned him. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. One of the reasons why Nigeria is what it is today is that Nigeria doesn't have powerful institutions. Rather, we have powerful individuals. There is no way any sitting court, there is, there, there is no possibility that any sitting court in Nigeria can arrange somebody like um, 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 the Haida Bello of, of Kogi State, former governor of Kogi. There is no court in Nigeria that can arrange him and convict and imprison him. He is too powerful. So, they don't submit to institutions. Like, institutions submit to them. If somebody like Ike Akwadamadu were to still be in Nigeria today, he will not be in prison. He will still be a senator serving in the Nigerian Senate. But he went to UK where we have powerful institutions. And it was possible for the court, for the system to arrange him. He's going to spend 10 years before he leaves British priest. So powerful institutions are meant to checkmate powerful individuals. That is why Catholic Church is so powerful that even a bishop can be removed for not following what is expected. He can be removed. A bishop, many bishops have been told to resign and get out because they didn't want it or the other. And today, if a bishop calls his priest to order, people of God will rise in protest, carry a placard, and start protesting. <laughs> we are creating a disaster that will consume all of us because we are ending up creating powerful individuals who are not answerable to any authority. If people are not answerable to any authority, what it means they can do whatever that comes to their mind and nobody questions them. Nobody is beyond blame. Even a pope has a personal confessor. A pope goes to confession. Nobody is beyond blame. People can make mistakes. And that is why there are institutions that play the role of checks and balances. But today, there is this media activism coming from many of us Christians. When you criticize the book, it is seen as envy. Envy for what? Is there any issue that is hungry? Is there any people that is hungry? If I need to envy a wealthy man, there is Dangote to envy. There is uh, Otetera to envy. There is Ibeto to envy. There is Emerson to envy. So why should I go and start envying a book? Because he has what, so, what nobody has ever got. <laughs> <laughs> I wish all of you would take time to read this Jamestown massacre. Go and read about this Jamestown massacre. 1978, November 18, 1978. Close to 1,000 people alive because they are man of God told them to take their life. Because, yeah, because they have grown to the level they don't push on them again. And that's what we are doing. 